Hello and welcome back to another episode of MAV, um, where we do hunting, fishing, camping, everything outdoors. Today, we might not be able to do much outdoors. Let's uh, take a step outside, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so my plan was to go fishing on the river today from shore, and I knew there was high water. I knew that there was going to be some, you know, some flood warnings going on. I can actually see somebody walking down there. Anyway, long story short, the park is closed due to high water. So I'm not able to go to the normal access that I usually go to. So let's, uh, there's somebody walking around down there. Let's see if we can't figure out how the heck they got down there. And I'm still determined to fish today. God, it is just a sloppy mess outside. Every spot that I've gone to before is completely underwater or not accessible right now. So the only thing that I know how to do is go home. And uh, I got some fish in my fridge from a couple days ago when I went fishing on pool four with Matt. I think I'm gonna clean those things up get a little lunch going, and we'll see you guys back at the house. As you can tell, I'm in my kitchen. So, today I'm gonna be doing some cooking. I'm cooking some fish. The other day, I got to go to pool four with my new friends Matt and Jeremy, and we ended up catching a bunch of walleyes, a bunch of smallmouth, we even caught some white bass. And those white bass I actually kept. So there's white bass fillets in my fridge. I have a new rub that I'm gonna try. Doc's pretzels, my favorite. So if you guys haven't seen the catching part of this video, it'll be linked in the description below. So without further ado, let's get in our dress attire, let's get our aprons on, and let's friggin' cook some fish. It'll work. So we're gonna get some stuff marinating here. All right. We only have Cristal over here, boy. Fish. Probably important. Let's grab some of these just in case. Yes, sir. Okay. Gonna need a big pan. That should do. All right, so for those of you that don't know, canola oil is what you wanna be frying your stuff in. It gets the hottest and uh, it doesn't have as much taste. When I fry stuff with vegetable oil, it often tastes sweet and I'm not really a fan. So I'm just gonna get this canola oil going here while I get the fish prepped. Um, the most important piece to this pie is hot oil. All right, so I got my white bass. It's been sitting in water for a couple days, but that's all right. All I gotta do right now is drain out this water. Wash the sink out so mom doesn't get pissed. Oh, sh okay. Gotta take care of that. Fish water just leaked all over the all over the counter there. That, that should be good. Sorry, Mom. Alright, well now that I've got all the fish drained, that means I have to dry it off um, and get it prepped for getting in the south. I'm gonna do it four different ways. So I'm doing it with straight up flour, so just battered fish, and then I'm doing battered fish with the hot sauce, and then I'm gonna do the same thing, but instead of flour, I'm gonna be using the pretzel rub. So we're gonna see which one tastes better, and uh, that way I have four different ones to compare, and I can really just you know hone in if this if this stuff's gonna be worth it to buy or not. Let's get this dots dots home style. Like if it's anything like the pretzels, this is gonna be phenomenal. So I'm excited to try it with the little a little hot sauce. Hopefully it's awesome. Without further ado, let's get cooking because this oil looks like it's getting hot already. I gotta I gotta get stepping. Pull that skin off. Yuck. Nobody wants that. Then I'm just gonna cut these in a little more, a little more bite-sized chunks. Wow, that's an excessive knife for the job, but let's get it. It's just Louisiana's pure, Louisiana pure hot sauce. That's what good. No, I can't make that joke on here. Sorry, guys. I don't know. What, I don't know what to do here. I should have like six cameras. I don't know. How do people film cooking shows? All right. So now, all I'm gonna do is crack an egg, scramble it, just so I can dunk the fish in it and give the flour something to stick to on the fish. Let's see what this pretzel rub's all about. I'm gonna peel off the top here. Oh.
All right, let's give this thing a test. Let's, let's test this out. That tastes exactly like dots. Just crushed up. I don't know, really know what I was expecting, but let's test. Let's test now to see if the oil's hot. What I'm gonna do is throw some flour in. If it kind of hisses at me, that's how I know it's ready. Just get the flour. All right, so you see how it's bubbling? That means that it is ready to rumble. Um, don't have much oil in there, so let's, uh, how should we do this? All right, so I'm gonna do the ones without the hot sauce first. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna dunk them in the egg and then either the flour or the pretzel rub. So let's do that right now. Flour. All right, and I'd say that's good. So uh, now all that's left to do is fry these these suckers up. All right, I'm just gonna put this right in the oil. And then one regular, and then one regular flour, and then one Frank's Red flour. Spicy, regular, spicy, Regular. These two are the pretzels, these two are the flowers. Get nice and crispy. All right, so right off the bat, what I can tell you is I don't think that oil was hot enough at the beginning because these are feeling pretty soggy unless that's, I mean, generally that's just because of the oil. So the, the ones with the pretzel definitely feel a lot soggier than the ones with the flour. I think that has to do with just how much they were able to get coated. The first one I'm gonna try is I'm just gonna try a bite of the regular. Just, you know, kind of get used to the taste of what white bass would taste like. Just, just normal style, like how I'd usually have it. Good, very plain. Definitely didn't put enough seasoning in my flour, but good crispiness. So now I'll try it with the, uh, the spicy. See if I like the spicy any anymore. It's like 20 times better. Still not awesome. The batter sucks. Um, I didn't have any short lunch at my house, so I had to use flour, but still not my favorite, but definitely heaps better than this one. For on a number scale, that'd be like a three out of 10, that'd be like a five out of 10. Now I'm gonna go to the pretzels, see if, see if I like these anymore. Oh, dude. That's freaking good. I don't know if these ones are like so bad that that's like way better, but that pretzel one was super good. Now I'm gonna try it with the uh, the hot sauce underneath. I have a feeling that this might be just the deal right here. I mean, look at that thing. All right, I'm gonna try it. I'm not even gonna finish those because I'm gonna make the rest of the fish just like that. That was, uh, for going numbers, that was that was like a seven, seven or eight. Really freaking good. Kind of a harsh grader on fish. So this is definitely, I mean, how can you really go wrong with Dots pretzels to be honest with you? It's just crushed up Dots pretzels. I might, I might have to show my friends this. Sobe, Murray, Natalie, if you're watching, we gotta try this out. Definitely pick some of that stuff up and try it out yourself. That's that's some good that's some good stuff right there. Honestly, am I surprised? No, not really. Um, that white bass was definitely super good. It was it was like one of the flakier fishes that I've ever had. It's it's a different it's a different kind of fish, but it's good. It's really really good. Pro not not up to scale with walleye for me, but it's it's good it's good eating. If you guys like videos like this? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you don't like videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. I'm always open to constructive criticism. Anyway, I think that about does it. I gotta clean up the whole kitchen. You know, a good chef always cleans up their own mess. So I'm gonna clean up the kitchen before uh, before the parents get home. Don't want them to get pissed. Yeah, I'm living at home with my mom and dad again, and I'm um, back in the homeland of Minnesota. So stay tuned. There's more episodes coming. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking this video. If you wouldn't mind uh, giving me a shout in the comments section, that'd be awesome. Giving this video a thumbs up. And until next time, we'll see you on this episode of Map. Bye.